guys, it's Alyssa with WDW Bound here, and today we're going to talk about our favorite table service restaurants at Universal Studios Orlando. The first few we're going to talk about are located in City Walk, so no park ticket required. First up, let's talk about Cowfish. Cowfish is a quirky mashup restaurant, like a fusion restaurant that serves burgers, sushi, other things, sometimes even combining multiple things. <laughs> we loved cowfish in particular because it was a perfect amalgamation of my husband and I. He can't eat seafood and, and loves burgers and that kind of thing, while I will eat sushi every opportunity that I get. It was perfect because I can get the sushi that I crave while my husband can happily order a burger or a sandwich and we both feel satisfied. The decor of the restaurant is really cool too and feels very hip and modern. There's also an outdoor patio area that overlooks City Walk, which would be great for people watching on a cool evening. Our next favorite is Vivo Italian Kitchen, which is located right next door to Cowfish and City Walk. This is a more upscale-ish style restaurant with high quality dishes that aren't super fussy. My husband ordered their version of lasagna, which he said was different, but really good, while I was able to order a delicious white pizza that really hit the spot. So much so that I had to take a little nibble out of it before I even thought to take a picture. <laughs> if you like Italian food, you have got to try this place. Also located in City Walk, right outside of the gates to the parks, is our third and final favorite City Walk restaurant, Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. Now, this place is cool. The entire restaurant is like a steampunk theme with lots of dark browns and coppers and accents and all that kind of cool stuff. They have a store located in the main area where you can buy anything from truffles to hard candies, t-shirts, and other memorabilia. The menu here is massive with tons of appetizers, entrees, and drink options. When we visited, it felt a little bit like the Cheesecake Factory, if you've ever been there, uh, where the menu is just huge, so you shouldn't have, have have any issues finding something for even the pickiest eater here. Last but certainly not least, I can't make a food video without talking about our favorite restaurant in the parks, the Leaky Cauldron, located in Diagon Alley in Universal Studios. This restaurant isn't really a traditional table service restaurant like you would picture where you have a waiter or waitress come and take your order, but it still allows you to escape the heat and sit in a nice, quiet, uh, air-conditioned place. So how does it work? During normal non-COVID operations, when you enter the Leaky Cauldron, you'll stand in a line and place your order at a kiosk with a team member. They'll give you a marker that you'll take to your table and then they will bring your food to you. However, currently they have altering their ordering process due to COVID and now you will mobile order your food from the safety of your table. So why do we like the Leaky Cauldron? Well, we love the food, most of all. We found the menu a lot more approachable than its counterpart in Islands of Adventure, the Three Brood Six, uh, which is has a slightly smaller menu and less options for picky eaters. My husband ordered their banger sandwich, which came on a soft pub roll, and I was able to order a delicious grilled chicken sandwich. The chips were flavorful, the french fries, they were crisp and delicious. There's also lots of interesting alternative drink choices here, like the fishy green ale and the tongue-tying lemon squash. While I thoroughly enjoyed my lemon squash drink, my feelings were mixed about the fishy green ale. It's one of those polarizing drinks where you either love it or you hate it, so you have to try it at least one time to see if you like it or not. So there you have it, our favorite sit-down table service restaurants in Universal Studios, Orlando, and the bonus that's in the parks. What are your thoughts on these restaurants? Have you tried them? Uh, do you have any other favorites that are worth mentioning? Leave your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.